An appeal in the David and Colette Stephan case. The Crown wants to take the couple to court for the third time after they were found not guilty for charges of failing to provide the necessaries of life. The couple was acquitted in the death of their 19 month old son, Ezekiel, last month. There are four major reasons for the Crown's appeal, all listed in these documents. It includes claims that the judge made a mistake when he insisted the Crown prove that taking Ezekiel to a doctor would have saved his life. It also says the judge's comments during the trial shows he had a bias. In his original decision, Justice Terry Claxon wrote the Crown failed to prove its case. The child had been sick, had improved, then regressed and was waxing and waning. They were watching him closely for signs of meningitis just in case, even though he did not appear to have any of the symptoms. Claxon sided with the defense expert, a pathologist, who said the toddler died from a lack of oxygen when he was in ambulance. But he also noted in his decision the Crown's medical examiner was hard to understand. His ability to articulate his thoughts in an understandable fashion was severely compromised by his garbled enunciation, his failure to use appropriate endings for plurals and past tenses, his failure to use the appropriate definite and indefinite articles, his repeated emphasis of the wrong syllables. The statements about Nigerian-born medical examiner Dr. Ariagbo prompted two complaints to the Canadian Judicial Council, both calling out comments in the decision saying they could be perceived as racist. One complaint from a group of Nigerian doctors in Canada, the second, a letter signed by 40 professors of law and medicine from across the country. The CJC says it's investigating the complaint. The court heard the Steffens thought their son had an airway infection and they treated him with natural remedies. Ezekiel contracted bacterial meningitis in 2012. The Steffens were originally found guilty back in 2016. But the Supreme Court of Canada ordered a new trial after finding the judge erred in their instructions to the jury. In Calgary, Crystal Adiris, City News.